and welcome back everyone and finally we have word for the challenge all-stars season four we got a cast reveal we got cast photos we have a release date i'll be honest we've been waiting for so long for this season to be announced that there was a lot of people on the internet that didn't think that mtv was ever going to release this season well here we are, everybody. I'm excited. I'm excited to be talking about this cast, seeing the cast photos, and going over some background info of all the players. And we're going to start off with the men in alphabetical order. Ace from the real world Paris. He has done four main seasons. He's been to one final, which was Inferno 3, back in season 14. And he's also done one season of the Challenge All-Stars. And that was in season one. And the last time we saw him was on All-Stars season one, episode one, where he lost to Letarian in a pole wrestle. Next up, we have Adam Larson from Road Rules The Quest. Now, this man has done three seasons. Only one of his three seasons are streamable on Paramount+. Plus. He is a one-time champ winning the gauntlet season seven and the last time we saw him was on the gauntlet 2 season 11 where he lost to derek in episode two in the name that coconut elimination this is what all stars was made for players that haven't been on in quite some time and making a triumphant return to the challenge i'm excited i'm also excited to see this next person even though we've seen him before on all stars and pretty recently on the challenge as well and that is Brad from The Real World San Diego. Brad is he's a five-time finalist, a one-time challenge champ in Cutthroat, as well as he's done two All-Star seasons. And the last time he ran a full season was in All-Star Season 3, getting second place behind Wes. But the most recent season we've seen him on the challenge was Season 39, coming in as a mercenary, facing off against Kylan, where he, somebody I'm very excited to see back on the challenge, and that is Brandon Nelson, whose original show was season 19, Fresh Meat 2. He has done five main seasons. He was also rumored to be an alternate for All-Stars season 2, but never had to go into the game. So he's been around the All-Stars realm, on the cusp of even making an All-Stars debut before All-Stars 4, but... Hey, I'm just happy that we have him on an all-star season back on the challenge. And the last time we saw him was season 25 going up against Zach in the Oppenheimer elimination where he lost. Next up, we have Derek Chavez, whose original show was The Real World Cancun. He has done three main seasons, one all-star season. And the last time we saw him was all-star season two, episode two, losing to Nehemiah in the dead weight elimination. Somebody, I think a lot of people had to do a double take when they saw this man rumored as well as seeing his official cast photos because I don't think anybody thought this man could return to the challenge, let alone be on a challenge all-star season. But that is Jay Mitchell, AKA Jay Gotti, whose original show was the Real World Explosion. He has only done one main season, which was Battle of the X's 2. He got to the final, yet he could not drink the drink. Him and Jenna were disqualified, and that's the last time we saw him on the challenge. It's going to be very interesting, one, seeing Jay back on the show, probably looking for redemption. I'm intrigued to see what he could do. He's a very big wild card in my book. Next up. An OG of an OG. We got Kefla back on the challenge. His original show was The Road Rules Down Under. Only did one season, and that was The Real World versus Road Rules Challenge, season two. And guess what? He won. He's one for one. He also had a guest appearance on season three, The Challenge 2000, and that is the last time we saw this man. I'm so excited. Just like I was excited for Adam Larson, this is what The Challenge All-Stars was made for. Bring on players that haven't been on since season two, season one, season three. And look, we got an OG of an OG, Kefla, a champ coming back. I'm so excited to see Kefla on the Challenge All-Stars 4 cast, as well as Leroy is back on the Challenge. Rightfully an All-Star. He's from the real world, Las Vegas, 2011. He has done 12 main seasons. He's a five-time finalist and the last time we saw him was season 36 
double agents getting third place alongside his Las Vegas alum and friend Nani. A lot of people thought that Leroy was hanging it up. He even kind of mentioned that he was going to retire from the show, but All Stars kind of opens up a gateway to compete on the challenge. You don't have to be gone as long as being on the main season. So how can you not be excited to see Leroy on an All Stars cast? I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see Leroy back. Next up, we got Ryan, whose original show was Fresh Meat. He has done five main seasons. He's a one-time finalist from season 16, The Island. He's also been on one season of All Stars, and the last time we saw him was All Stars season two, losing to Kahuta in the fireball elimination. Next up, we have hand model Steve from The Road Rules The Quest. And he has done one main season, Gauntlet, and then one all-star season, season two, where he lost to Tech in the switchback elimination. Somebody else on this cast is Cyrus from the real world Boston. He has done five main seasons. He's a two-time finalist, as well as he has been on the Challenge All-Stars before. The last time we saw him on the Challenge was All-Stars season three, where he lost to MJ in episode three in the Wait Up elimination. We're now at the final two men on this All-Stars 4 cast. Everybody check your watch because it is Tony time from Real World Skeletons. He has done six main seasons, one-time finalist in Vendettas. He won Champs vs. Stars season two alongside CT, and the last time we saw him on the challenge was Final Reckoning. It was him and Bananas going up against Natalie and Polly in the Milk and Cookies elimination, the last elimination right before the finals, And unfortunately for Tony, they just did not win that elimination and could not make it into the final. But that is the last time we saw Tony on the challenge. The final man on this list, and that is Tyree from the real world Denver. Six main seasons. Last time we saw him was season 24, Rivals 2. Losing to Derek, who is also on this cast. But Tyree and Dunbar lost to Derek and Rob in the last chance elimination in episode one. Now, we've seen players get redemption. Casey Cooper has always been in the mix of being deemed the worst challenger ever, but she came on to All-Stars and proved to be a very strong competitor. Melinda had not won a single elimination in her main series appearances, but comes on All-Stars, wins eliminations, makes it to finals, and is super competitive, a fan favorite, And now here's Tyree, someone who has never won an elimination in his challenge career. And here he is, battling it out, looking for redemption. I think a lot of the men on this cast are, one, exciting, as we haven't seen a lot of them on the show in quite some time, but two, also unpredictable. I think that Leroy, Tony, and even Brandon, who have a leg up on age, as well as Brad, who has a lot of connections as well. They're going to be able to maneuver through the game a little bit easier, in my opinion, but you can never count out anybody on these casts. We've seen players on All-Stars where the unpredictable happens, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing how unpredictable this cast can be. All right, so I've been kind of holding back because I wanted to talk about the men to kind of get them out of the way because the women's side of this cast... It is stacked, and there's no need to wait any longer. Let's get into it, starting in alphabetical order with Avery from the real world Portland. She's done two main seasons of the challenge, and the last time we saw her was season 28, Rivals 3. She was paired up with Leroy. However, Leroy came into the season with a pinched nerve in his back, got medically DQ'd, and because Avery didn't have another rival just around, She also had to be pulled from the game. I'm excited to see Avery back on the show. I'm actually surprised she only had done two seasons of the challenge. So happy to see her back, see what she can do. Because if I remember correctly, she's actually a really strong competitor. And I cannot wait to see what she can do on this show. Next up, we have a very memorable player. One of my favorites from All Stars Season 2. That is Ayana from Road Rules Semester at Sea. She has done three main seasons, one All-Stars season. Last time we saw her was All-Stars season two finals where she got fourth place. I know that Ayana has been going through a lot, uh, being diagnosed with cancer. Rachel Robinson started a GoFundMe 
for Ayana. I've donated. A lot of challengers and challenge fans have donated as well. So if you are able to and interested, please go check out the GoFundMe for Ayana. Um, I'm so excited to see Ayana back on the cast, back on All Stars. And I cannot wait to see the kind of chaos and entertainment she brings to this season. Next up, we have somebody that people have been waiting for. For her to make a full-on comeback to the challenge. Not just a mercenary elimination, but really come back to play the game. And that is Cara Maria, whose original season was season 19, Fresh Meat 2. She has done 14 main seasons. She's a nine-time finalist, a two-time challenge champ, the first ever solo winner of the challenge. She also won Champs vs. Pros alongside Darrell. The last full season she's done was season 34, War of the Worlds 2, where her Team US got second place out of two. But the last time we did get to see her was on the Challenge 39, Battle for a New Champion, as a mercenary playing against Michelle in a puzzle elimination where Cara Maria wasn't able to win. I cannot wait. And you know who else I'm excited for? Is another OG competitor, and that is Flora from the Real World Miami. She has only done one season of the Challenge, and that was... Battle of the Season 2002, Season 5. She didn't get a lot of screen time. She was voted out in Episode 6, but hearing recent reviews like on the Mike Lewis podcast with Flora, she is going to be somebody to watch out for, and she is going to be highly entertaining. I cannot wait to see Flora competing on the Challenge All-Stars, as well as this next competitor that we've seen compete on the Challenge All-Stars before, and that is Janelle from the real world Key West. She's done two main seasons. She's a one-time challenge champ from Inferno 3. She's also done one all-star season. And the last time we saw her was on that all-star season. Season 2 in the finals where she could have won. Possibly alongside Darrell. If maybe that missing fourth step was on the board. There's a lot of controversy surrounding that. I'm so happy because... I actually thought after that whole experience, maybe Janelle wouldn't be so apt to come back on the Challenge All-Stars and compete again, but yet here she is. I'm so excited. Next up is Jasmine from the Real World Cancun. She has done five main seasons. She's also done one All-Star season that was All-Stars 2, which was the last time we saw her, where her and Latirian were eliminated in Episode 7 in the clockwork elimination. Now I talked about Kara being on the cast and it's exciting not only to see her compete, but also to see her compete alongside other players on this cast. And this next player, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen between Kara and her. And I'm talking about Laurel from Fresh Meat 2, season 19, seven main seasons, four time finals, one time challenge champ from season 25, free agents. Last time she ran a season was very recent, season 38, Ride or Dies, where her and her buddy Jack lost in episode 6 to Jordan and Anissa, but the last time we saw her was a lot more recent, which was season 39, Battle for a New Champion, where she came in as a mercenary, faced off against Raven, and lost. I'm very excited, as well as I'm very excited to see Cam from Are You the One season 5. She has done five main seasons. She's a three-time finalist. And the last time we saw her was season 36, double agents getting second place with Corey. I'm happy that Cam is on this season. I'm excited to see her compete alongside Kara, Laurel, Leroy is also. I'm just, I'm just very happy. I'm very happy to see Cam on this season. And then, yeah, next up we have Nicole Z from the real world skeletons. She's done three main seasons. She's a two-time finalist. And the last time we saw her was Double Agents. And speaking of Cam, she was wrestling Nicole on top of a truck. An accident happened where Nicole's shoulder was popped out. She had to get medically checked out. And then she was disqualified from the game in episode three. This is the first time since season 29 where Laurel, Kara, and Nicole Z will be on the same cast together. What will that trio do? How will that trio treat each other? How will they move in this game? Will they target each other? We'll have to wait and see. But talking about a trio, we have a very special trio reunited together. They were once deemed back in season 10 as the Mean Girls Alliance. And here they are back together again. We got 
Rachel Robinson from the Road Rules Campus Crawls. She has done seven main seasons, three-time finalist, two-time challenge champ, winning Gauntlet and the Duel 2. Last time we saw her on a challenge season was Battle of the Exes, lost to Dunbar and Paula and banded together, and her and Anissa lost in episode six. But the most recent time we've seen her in some capacity on the challenge was the Challenge YouTube channel, doing those challenge workouts, making people sweat like Derek and people from Love is Blind. Rachel is a very strong competitor, and seeing her play against players like Kara, like Laurel, like Nicole, like Cam, I'm telling you, this women's side of the cast is so stacked. But Rachel is coming in with some friends. Like I said, there's a trio of the Mean Girls Alliance is back. And who is a part of the Mean Girls Alliance? Oh, there's Tina from Road Rules South Pacific. Five main seasons. She is a two-time challenge finalist. As well, as she has been on two seasons of the Challenge All-Stars. And the last time we saw her was getting medically DQ'd for breaking her arm in All-Stars Season 3. Somebody else who had their time cut short on All-Stars 3 is the final Alliance member in the Mean Girls Alliance, and that is Veronica. From Road Rules Semester at Sea, 12 main seasons, four-time finalist, three-time challenge champ, one All-Stars season. Last season she ran was Rider dies. Darrell and Veronica were eliminated in the deep web elimination in episode 7 against Amber and Chauncey. Last time we saw her on All Stars was being medically disqualified in episode 8 because she hurt her toe walking down the stairs. I'm praying, Veronica, get a bedroom on the bottom floor, all right? No treehouse alliance. There's no need to go up into the treehouse alliance. Uh, do a cave alliance or whatever you want to do, something on the ground. But that's the whole cast. And I'm so excited for this cast. I mean, I'm telling you right now, the women's side is stacked. The men's side may not have as much accolades or excitement when looking over to them. I think there's some clear standouts. But then again, like I mentioned, there's a lot of unpredictability when it comes to the Challenge All-Stars. You never know how the game mechanics are going to work. You never know how the alliances are going to work. There's a lot of players that haven't played on All-Stars before. There's a lot of players that haven't been on a challenge season in quite some time, so you never know how they're going to look at the game, work on the game and everything. I'm just excited. I'm excited for this Challenge All-Stars cast. I'm excited that we finally got some official announcement from the challenge itself. If I had to pinpoint some players that I'm feeling could go deep into the game, of course, I'm going to say Leroy. I think Brandon, Tony is another one, I think because of age and stuff. I'm going to be rooting for Kifla as well. And on the women's side, how can you not pick like Car Maria, Laurel, Cam, um, Avery, I think could be a dark horse on this season. I think that you can't sleep on anybody in this cast. I'm just looking forward to the season, especially after what we just experienced with the Challenge 39 in the main season. I'm so looking forward to this season. I'm so happy that was finally announced. But that is it for this Challenge All-Stars 4 cast reveal and background info. What'd you think about this list? Let me know down in the comment section below. Are you excited for the challenge All-Stars 4? Let me know anything and everything down in the comment section below about what you feel about this All-Stars 4 cast and everything surrounding it. Let me know anything and everything. I want to hear what you have to say. I also want to give a special shout out. Thank you to everyone who supports me over at patreon.com slash angelcakevids. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone who's watching this video up to this point. I'll be back really, really soon with more Challenge All-Stars 4 content, more challenge content, more content in general. But until then, peace.